time ago. The fairy created the world. She created trees, plants and animals. She also created different type of trees. One day she created a tree named Baobab. It was not like the other trees. It was really different because it can talk. One day he told, "I don't like this soil. It's really disgusting. Why did you make this disgusting soil?" While he saw a tree with full of beautiful flowers. How dare you give him such red beautiful flowers? I was more beautiful than him in these flowers. Why didn't you give it to me? And then he saw a thin tree. He said, "Look at him. He's really thin and beautiful. Why don't you give that body to me?" The fairy has heard enough of it. She said, "Please stop mourning my bad tree." There is nothing you can do about me. She did not care about that incident. After that, she made a beautiful tree with full of tasty fruits. It looked really beautiful. At that time, the baobab tree said, "Hmm, you idiot! Why did you give such tasty fruits to him?" He? What did you call me? I will teach you a lesson today itself. Oh, what is happening to me? Oh, it's paining. And so the fairy kept the baobab tree upside down. All his roots were on the top and his head on the ground. You deserve this. And then except the baobab tree all others lived happily ever after this is the real picture of baobab tree it is a folk story of baobab tree which i have done here as a play on this story there is a nice moral too the baobab tree never took care of his own specialties he started looking only on other specialties on our life too we are not understanding our specialties by the time we are understanding the other specialty